Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray. And in this quick video, I just wanna do a quick story time, talk about um, a recent uh, situation that happened, very minor, uh, at my recent destination wedding at the airport at Customs. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's get right into it. Uh, but I also wanna shout out, most importantly, priority, I wanna shout out two new members to the channel, two new members, uh, M Mito Blue, Mito Blue. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But I appreciate your support and also Matt Lang uh, Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the membership. You guys went with the coffee option and that's awesome. So thanks to you I get to serve myself some coffee and enjoy it in the morning when I'm editing or doing things like this uh, So I appreciate the support and if you haven't joined the membership, there's three levels exclusive videos shout outs one-on-ones um, and the last membership uh, option it gives you exclusive access to me so you will literally get my phone number you can text me at all times of the day i don't care what time it is if i'm up i'm going to respond if i'm not busy i'm going to respond direct access to me limited mentorship so check it out uh hit the join button below or look in the description for more information but let's get right into the video So yeah, so recently just got back from a destination wedding with Kevin from Golden Creatives. We both went together to go cover a wedding, uh, one of my clients, and we had a great time. I'm Dominican. For those of you who didn't know that, I am Dominican, um, and I love going back to my, to my country and you know checking it out. I am American. I was born here in America, but you know my parents, my background is Dominican. Um, but yeah, I had a good time over there. Always a great time going back, but. If you haven't watched my video where I'm talking a little bit about, you know, uh, traveling with your suitcases and your equipment and all of that, I highly suggest it. So go ahead and tap right up here so you can watch that video. But um, I touch a little bit about traveling to other countries that you're not uh, a citizen and, you know, not a native country to you. Um, let's be honest. If, if you know this already, then you know. But the Dominican Republic is a very, very sketchy country, um, you know, uh, officials um, are all corrupt. The government is corrupt. And I, and I hate to say that, but it's the truth. Um, so pretty much anywhere you go, it's corrupt. It's just like Mexico and just like other countries like that. So um, keep in mind that when you travel to these places, um, you know, try to stay out of trouble. Try not to bring attention to yourself. Try not to get involved with the government or government officials or even like uh, police activity, try to just not commit any crimes. You don't want to get in trouble because what tends to happen is this. Say you're going down the road, say you're speeding and you get pulled over by a cop. They don't have a due process the way they do it here in the United States. Their due process is you're a tourist. You're not from here. I can take advantage of you and I'm going to charge you money right here. And then, oh, they'll say, oh yeah, you know, we got, we have a ticket for you. Um, you know, and I find you guilty. So you have to pay right now. And if you don't pay right now, I'm locking you up. And you don't want to get locked up in any of any one of these countries. Um, you know, you, there's no, again, there's no due process. You don't have any rights. You, the communication barrier, if you don't Spanish or the native language of the country you're visiting, it's just going to be terrible for you. It's going to be a bad day, a bad week. Um, you don't want to do that. So what, hap what happens is you, you technically, they want to bribe. They want you to just give them money right then and there. So that way they can go about their day and you can go about your day. So let's say, for example, you're speeding and they're like, yeah, you got to give me $45. They really want like more than that. They want 50 bucks, 60 bucks, $100 USD, US dollars. Um, and if you don't give it to them, like I said, you're going to have a bad day. So anyways, um, we were at the airport. We got in again. We had the pink suitcase. We had the Mickey Mouse bag. Uh, we weren't standing out, uh, you know, our equipment, you couldn't tell, but obviously once you arrive to a country that, that is not your country of origin, um, you have to go through customs and you have to go through immigration. So we, we applied for, uh, temporary visas, which you do at any given point, whenever you're, you know, traveling, um, you apply for a temporary visitation visa, which we did. And then once you pass immigration and they, they give you that and they give you that little stamp on your passport. You can keep it moving. So then after that, you go to customs. What they're doing is they're going through their security procedures to make sure that you're not bringing in anything that they don't want in their country or bombs or threat, any threats or anything like that. Um, veg vegetation, you know, similar to what you have to go through when you're traveling internationally and you head, head back to the United States, you have to go through Department of Customs, I'm sorry, uh, Customs to make sure that you're not bringing anything back that's illegal or not authorized here in the United States from any other foreign countries. 
So they put our luggage through the, through the uh, security um, and the x-ray detectors and all that. And obviously <laughs> they found out we had a ton of equipment, a lot of equipment. Now, I always shoot dual, dual bodies. Kevin shoots dual cameras too, but the only reason for him is he, he has a cam A and a cam B. So cam A is his main cam, key cam. Cam B is, you know, B-roll of maybe on the bride, on the groom, or whatever the case is. But yeah, two cameras for him, two cameras for me. Um, and they saw that. So immediately they pulled us to the side and they say, all right, further inspection. So we go into further inspection. They say, open up your suitcases, open up your bags. What is all this stuff? So quite honestly, um, you have to, you have to mention that you're traveling with gear and if it's for work, you have to say it's for work. Um, we did a destination wedding. If you want to call that work, you can call that work if you want, but we were just hanging out with friends, man. And we were just taking pictures, you know, for free. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, so, you know, we, we went, we told them that we were just hanging out the hotel. We didn't tell them anything about a wedding. We didn't tell them anything about, you know, work. All we said was that we're going to this hotel, this resort, we're going to have fun and we're going to film some stuff They're like, oh, okay. You're going to film some stuff on the beach. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why all the cameras? Are you making a movie? Like they literally said that they literally were like, are you making a movie? I was like, no, but if you want to call it that, you know, so being that I'm Dominican, I have this, I, I know this, this is, I have the experience here. So I know exactly what to say, what not to say, things that can get me in trouble, things that cannot get me in trouble. I know how to handle my people. I know how to deal with them. Uh, other people don't. So this is why another reason why people like traveling with me, because I don't go to countries that I just, I don't know the, the lay of the land or, or things like that. Um, but yeah, no, I told him, yeah, no, you know, if you want to call it a movie, call it a movie. Uh, and, and, you know, he looked at me, he's like, I got to talk to my captain because you got to fill out a form. You got to pay some fees. And I'm like, oh, man, damn. So he put, you know, he left us there. He says, I'll be right back. Let me go get my captain. That just means that he's bringing me to the higher up because that's the man that's going to make the decision because the bribe didn't work with him. He wanted a bribe. Even at the airport, guys, it doesn't matter where you are. These officials want a bribe. They don't care. They don't care who you are. Unless you, if they know that you're a tourist and they know you don't, like you, you don't live there, they're going to take advantage of you. And, and they tried it. They really tried it with us. Um, no, I don't live in the Dominican Republic, but I am Dominican. I have the experience. They tried it. Captain came by. Again, this is all in Spanish, too. And, and he's like, he told us the same thing. He's like, oh, look at all these cameras. I say, sir, there's two cameras in this suitcase and there's two cameras in this suitcase. What cameras? There's, there's two cameras. Everything else you see here is gear that has been broken down to fit the luggage, to fit in the suitcases. So what are you talking about? And the guy's like, okay. What are you going to do again? Where are you going to stay? Told him the place, uh, the name and directions to the resort. He's like, all right, all right, not for work, right? He's like, no. He's like, all right, you're good to go. So he made us, you know, pack it all up and, and go on our merry way. But that's the thing, guys. I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, look, if you ever find yourself in a situation like that, when you're traveling, especially for destination weddings or destination work, um, you know, you're just hanging out. You're just going to a resort. You're going to capture some footage. What client? What work? What are you talking about? Um, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, so don't take my, this is not legal advice. This is just me talking with you guys. Um, you know, but just everything is casual. Everything's for fun. Um, that way you guys don't get caught up anything out there um, when you're visiting, you know, foreign countries. Um, when you're an American, you get a lot of respect all around the country, all around the world, because they want that. They want the tourists. That's how a lot of countries make their, their you know, their, their money. The economics are great for them for that reason. Tourism brings a lot of money into those countries. Aruba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Bermuda, you know, Bahamas, Jamaica, everything. Um, so they don't want to lose that. So they're not going to try to disrespect you, but sometimes some people will try to take advantage of you. So when you're traveling, he caution, try not to stand out. Take a look at the video I mentioned earlier. Um, you know, that way you can learn a little bit more about that kind of stuff, but just, yeah, just, just, Take care of yourself, be careful, um, and don't let anybody take advantage of you. And if you are dealing with a government official and you can't get them off of you and they're trying to escalate things, look, man, carry some cash in your pocket. Not a lot of cash, but some cash. Um, but that's all I have to say about that subject matter. Thanks again for you guys who just joined the membership. I appreciate the support. Check out the video that I'm talking about here so you guys can learn a little bit more about how to travel for destination weddings. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you.